Welcome back everybody. I know it's been a while, but I finally have a fun project that's good for the filming. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. So if you're curious to see what it is we're building, stay tuned. I'll catch you on the other side of it. Those two are those two are made for each other. Why do you think I was making them work together so much?
Well, here we are. Here's our prototype waste oil burner. We're going for a blue flame waste oil burner here. Now, the sawdust burner works well, but if I'm working in the forge a lot, I'm not generating a lot of sawdust. So it'd be better maybe to heat the wood shop with something like the sawdust burner and heat out here with something a little more uh, not mechanical, I guess, it'd fit in with the rest of this place. So you may recognize this guy right here. This old heat gun with the burnout elements has provided the blower for so many projects here in this channel. The first waste oil burner that we made, I'll flash to the video somewhere in here. And of course the uh, the coal forge, this has served in two or three coal forges already. But uh, let's go over the build here. So obviously we have a lid, you can see that's been going on. We have a nice little sight glass where we can look down into the fire, see what it's doing. We have the air train, the oil feed back behind me here. And of course I have this uh, but anyway, I guess maybe I should quit talking about it. Let's try firing it up and see if it even works. This is just a big experiment, and hopefully I did not waste a bunch of my time. I've seen a couple of these on the old interwebs here lately, and I thought, you know what? That'd be a really nice solution to, to heating the forge when the forge isn't running. Remember, it's important for me in this shop to be able to shut this heat off and walk away, but I can't afford to heat this place 24-7, so... That's a big reason why we're using the propane forge and not the coal, because I could shut it off and walk away when we only have a few hours here, a few hours there. Let's see how this thing goes to light it off. I don't know how well this is going to do first go. I can tell you that um, I can tell you it's going to be interesting. Let's just put it that way. Really, what may not be a bad idea would be a torch port on here. Now it's going to be a little smoky at first. Try turning the air on. Let's see what happens.
So I was kind of loud in here with that blower going, but this thing's working really well. We've had it running for a couple of hours. I didn't show a lot of the light off because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Plus, I had to have the doors wide open to allow the paint on there to burn off. I could have done it outside, but a little bit easier for me this way. I wanted it all hooked up. I was dying to get a test run in, and I am very happy. So probably about two hours of running, I could finally close the door down in here again. You know, all the smoke's cleared out from the paint. I kind of had to step out. So a big thing I'm noticing is it doesn't require a lot of oil, much less oil than the last waste oil burner that I built much nicer uh, i'm gonna turn this way hopefully we don't pick up that fan noise quite as much but um yeah i'm pretty happy with that that actually should be a little bit easier than the sawdust burner the nice thing about this is i can keep adding fuel to it as i go rather than with the sawdust burner i'd have to let it go out pretty much all the way clean it out put another charge in it plus all the tractors we change oil on around here there's no shortage of used waste oil I've probably burnt maybe, I don't know, I'm going to say about a quart of oil in probably a couple hours time with just a really slow drip in there and it's just a real steady thing. I'll try to get you guys a better shot of the flame on the inside. I've got to shut the lights off to do it because to be honest with you, I thought it wasn't burning for a little bit. And then uh, finally I turned the light off and sure enough, beautiful blue flame inside there. No orange, no smoke outside, which it's dark out, so it's going to be hard to get that for you. So anyway, hopefully this audio works out and I will, the next video I will go through how we built this thing. I'll go into detail on measurements, sizes, and all that good stuff. I just had to make sure it worked before I decided to throw all that out on video. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you on the next one.